Hello again from Central West Canine Breeding. We offer both the professional breeder and the hobbyist a full range of canine reproductive services to maximize your chances of a successful conception. In this episode, we will have a look at transcervical insemination, known as TCI. TCI is one part of your breeding options and we will consider all your options in subsequent episodes on Aranavet TV. Transcervical insemination involves passing a catheter through the cervix to deposit semen into the uterus. This procedure is guided by observing the digital screen as the scope with camera attached is guided through the vagina, the cervix and into the uterus. TCI is suitable for fresh, chilled or frozen semen. The advantages of TCI. TCI is performed on the unsedated bitch in a standing position. Bitches are usually very receptive to this procedure as both serial progesterone testing and vaginal cytology has pinpointed the optimum time of insemination. With TCI, it is possible to do inseminations on two consecutive days if the quality or availability of semen indicates that such consecutive inseminations would be of benefit. A coital reflex is initiated which assists the passage of the semen upwards towards the ripe eggs. The disadvantages of TCI well, it's not possible to assess the health and viability of the uterus and ovaries as is done with a surgical insemination. At times, ovarian cysts are found at the time of implant and these can be ruptured which may assist the bitch to conceive and maintain the pregnancy. Cystic endometrial hyperplasia of the uterus usually reduces the chances of conception and may indicate that the bitch is unlikely to conceive. This is difficult to determine with TCI. Not all bitches can be catheterized for reasons of anatomical abnormality or size. In such cases, we may need to revert to a surgical insemination to complete the breeding. So what exactly happens with a TCI? Let's take a trip with the endoscope and a bird's eye view of the structures to negotiate as well as observing the coital reflex. The caudal tubercle is located in the top of the vaginal vault. It seems to occupy most of the vaginal cavity and has to be bypassed to move forwards towards the cervix. The dorsal median fold is the convoluted or folded structure that is next encountered. It has its origins from the roof of the vagina, restricting forward passage and making progress very challenging. The cervical tubercle is next encountered as the scope moves forwards. It is a roughly spherical structure at the forward end of the vagina. Its appearance varies from smooth and fissured to slightly cobblestoned and usually requires manipulation with the scope. The cervical O's or opening provides the passage into the uterus. It is located in the center of the cervical tubercle. The cervical O's is often difficult to locate as the cervical tubercle usually points downwards to the floor of the vaginal cavity obscuring the opening for easy access. The tubercle has to be manipulated with the tip of the endoscope to elevate it sufficiently to visualize the ultimate target, the cervical os. The catheter is then rotated and slides easily into the relaxed os as is found at the time of full estrus when ready for implant or mating. The coital reflex occurs with natural mating and TCI. This involuntary reflex involves a rhythmic contraction of the cervical tubercle 
and surrounding structures. These act like a pumping mechanism to assist the passage of semen upwards towards the end of the uterine horns containing the ripe eggs. With surgical insemination of fresh chilled or frozen semen, it is not necessary to initiate the coital reflex as semen is directly flooded over the ripe eggs waiting at the end of the uterus adjacent to the ovaries. Once the semen floods into the uterus, the race is on, vigorously swimming upwards, always knowing the direction to travel as waves of sperm negotiate the twists and turns in a frantic race to be the first to find the prized ripe egg. From the millions of sperm inseminated, many will try, but it is the strongest and most vigorous that penetrates the ripe egg. The winning sperm undergoes capacitation, assisting the sperm to transverse the outer egg layers to reach the interior of the egg. The zona pellucida surrounding the ripe egg instantly becomes impermeable upon the time of fertilization, preventing the entry of additional sperm. TCI then is a highly effective and safe method of breeding. It is of particular benefit when multiple breedings are indicated. It is not ethical practice or safe to administer anaesthetics for surgical insemination on consecutive days. However, TCI can easily be performed on consecutive days should such management be indicated with certain bitches. TCI provides both superior conception rates and litter sizes compared to vaginal insemination alone. With AI, a catheter is placed into the forward part of the vagina. The semen must navigate around the cervical tubercle and through the cervical os before swimming the length of the uterus to find the ripe eggs. Hopefully they have sufficient energy remaining to penetrate the egg and provide fertilization. Now that you have an understanding of TCI, we will discuss all your breeding options in a subsequent episode on Arana Vet TV. This includes natural mating, vaginal AI and surgical implant with options of fresh, chilled or frozen semen. Should you have any questions regarding TCI, contact our staff at Central West Canine Breeding about maximising your chances of a successful conception. Until next time, stay healthy and enjoy your healthy dog.